Must Love MMA fan, Susan Cigar here with Greg Hardy's boxing coach, Coach Billy Patton. How are you today, Coach Billy? Good, Susan. How are you? Good. So, we knew this was going to kind of happen. You said to me about a year ago that you expected Greg to make it to the UFC. Talk to me a little bit about how this all came about and what we were, when you heard about it. What was your first thought? Well, I, I was excited for Greg. We were supposed to fight December 21st right. up in Sarasota. Uh, and, and, and he got more time to train because he was home in Texas for his baby being born. So our camp would have been shortened for December 21st, so it worked out perfect for us. And, and I knew when Dana gave him his developmental contract, he said four fights outside the UFC, then six fights within the UFC. So we got there after three. He's been doing better and better with every, every aspect of his game. He's been getting better and better. You said it, and we saw him. He was just up in Fort Pierce. He had those yes. heavy hands then, and we saw him doing a little bit of training today, and it looks like he's hitting even harder. He's incredible. The athletic ability is incredible. He's, he's staying down. He, he, he doesn't waste any motion, and uh, we're, we're putting people to sleep. I told you that from the beginning. That's, that's our main objective. We're coming for your head. You know. You know, we had a chance to speak to his Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach, who says he's doing very well as, as well in that training area. We haven't really seen Greg utilize that. Is that a possible game plan for the fight? The last, the last fight he had, the guy shot for him and tried to take him down, and he controlled his hip control. He had wrist control, and he actually he wrestled real good. And in Oklahoma, yep. they're wrestling. They're a wrestling state, and even their announcers were complimenting him on his wrestling. So, and then he manipulated the guy into striking him and, 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 and sent him unconscious. How do you think he matches up stylistically with Allen? Uh, fantastic. I've already watched Alan Crowder probably 50 times and when I watch a fight, and I will watch it a hundred more times, <laughs> and when I watch I look for habits. You can't break habits. Habits you can't change. Different t a coach can make different, it can tweak you a little bit and put your hand up, but habits are ingrained and you cannot break them. And he already has numerous habits that we're going to exploit. We're going to exploit every habit and, and counter with that. Any predictions for the fight? Real, real quick. <laughs> Those big bad hands real quick. We're, we know that's going to happen. We're ready, but the thing about it is people think he's just going to be one and done. This kid fights and when he spars, he, he'll take you into deep waters and he gets better as time goes on. So with the more rounds, you're in trouble. <laughs> you know what I mean? The longer it goes, he's going to get better and better. He's ready, he's ready. We, we train and Alan Crowder is, is an absolute stud. He's in the UFC. Right. We don't take anyone lightly anyway, but the fact that he's in the UFC means he's pretty legitimate guy. So we're not underestimating him by any means. He's a real tough kid. He's going to come to fight. I have all respect for all my warriors that get into that cage. They're special people. So there's no way we're overlooking Alan Crowder. We're focusing on him only, and then we'll be ready to fight. That's I promise you. How is Greg dealing with a lot of the negativity that's coming around with this fight and Rachel and everything else? He is so mature. He, he's way much more mature than you think he is. He understands he's a part of life. He's not angry about it. He believes people have the right to share their opinion. So we kind of neutralized it so we don't overreact to it and it's going to be there. We, we just expect it to be there, and, and it's, it's, everyone has a right to their opinion. This is a pretty big deal because it's the first fight on ESPN. Any extra nerves going in for you or Greg or the rest of the team? No, the fight's a fight. Business it's a fight. usual. It's a fight. We're prepared. I tell my fighters, like I told you, we, we fight the fight five seconds at a time. Give me five perfect seconds. If it's not there, disengage, reset yourself, and make it. We're not going to over-pursue him. Uh, because of nerves. Greg's been doing this his whole life. He's been in the big show yeah. his whole life. And he reacted the first fight when he fought Austin Lane the same way. He's like, I got this coach. You know, he, the kid has nerves of steel. So we're, we're bringing the fight. We're definitely coming to fight. Coach Billy, the thank best you so season. much it's for the so interview. It's so good to see you. See you in January, guys. Yeah.